Hello everybody, welcome back to Jersh Reacts. In today's video, we're gonna react to Tool H Live. Uh, I put out the call uh, for the last few videos, a couple of videos ago, asking for some live recommendations. And um, a lot of you, a lot of people recommended H, I think, but the most significant uh, requester of this was Dexy Chan in the comments. Uh, he even DM'd me uh, the time code so that I could find uh, the live version or the live performance of this song. So thank you so much for doing that. Um, if you like what you're seeing on the channel, make sure you subscribe. It helps out a lot. Um, I've already reacted to the studio version of this song, so I'll put a link to that reaction in the description of this video. Um, so we're not going to do my lyrical breakdown. This is just going to be kind of to just watch and enjoy the live uh, performance of it, and I'll you know stop and share my thoughts with it as I usually do. So I've got the video ready. I've got the time code pulled up to just before the song is supposed to start. So um, it's also my understanding that it's kind of tough to see Tool live on video because they don't uh, allow a lot of cameras, especially back in their prime. I don't know about more recently. So uh, with that said, let's take a look. Audio is supposed to be pretty silent, but the video is or solid. But the video is what it is because you're not really supposed to be recording. <clears throat> in the sober video. Ignore that. I saw sober live. I'm just usually staring at an album cover when I'm reacting to their songs because I'm doing the video separately. also depressing <clears throat> it's also depressing that 2002 feels so long ago and produces video quality like this like this shit feels like it should be from 1979 time is so unfair <laughs> That's like the, um, that's like the album work, <clears throat> the album artwork, I think. They're make that face that they're making in the lights and the smoke. That's pretty cool. Where's Maynard? He has a megaphone, like a eulogy. Oh, there he is. He's in front of the lights. Look at that freaking drum kit. Double bass.
That sounds really good. I think what I'm so I'm so fascinated by with Tool is that um, I think they impress other musicians. Like, I could write a song on guitar and I could probably find an audience, right? Like a general audience that is not, you know, super serious about musicianship or learning chords or music. Like, I could write a catchy tune with a meaningful message and I could probably find an audience. But then a musician's going to look at the stuff that I write and be like, yeah, okay, buddy, that's so freaking simple, who cares? But with these guys, it's like other musicians watch them and they're like, hell yeah, dude. Like, what do you do? You know, what are you doing with that scale? How are you improvising over the rhythm section? Like they get I think they get respect from their peers, too, because I don't know. I mean, I'm a self-taught musician, so I don't know a ton about like scales and all that stuff, how all that works. But I just get the feeling that they're so technically proficient that other serious musicians respect them, too. And I feel like that's like the ultimate goal. You know, like for me and my stuff, I don't like the music that I've written or the movies that I've written. I don't just want to hit it with an audience. I want to hit it with critics, too. Like I want people that are that, you know, know the ins and outs of this stuff to be blown away and impressed. So, yeah, just a thought I had. So I shared it. <laughs> You all said that he like sings on the edge of the stage because of his uh, anxiety, and I, like, you're not kidding. The whole time I'm like, where is he? He's like in the back by the lights, and he's wearing this black light glowy, like a, a, it's like, it's not the pink onesie from Sober. This is way weirder than I didn't know it could get weirder than the pink onesie, but we did. Sorry, I didn't mean to start and pause so soon. Uh, shout outs to Zofier. Twerk for subscribing to the YouTube. Shout outs to you. I'd like to give a shout out if I happen to be recording and I see something like that. Okay. <laughs> Got to be the end. Cool.
Is that the end? Yeah, they're going into something else. Based on the time code of this video, uh, it looks like Schism is up next, and I'll try to remember to put a link to the original video as well. It looks like this is a couple fan-made, uh, maybe not fan-made, maybe it's from a DVD, but there was more than one angle. So somebody definitely put this together, whether it was fans or officially produced and then somebody put it online, I'm not sure. Um, but, you know, for the purposes of my reaction and uh, kind of talking about it, um, I would say that like it had a really good produced live sound. Um, he had a lot of emotion in his singing. It was hard to see him because he was in the backstage. That drum kit was amazing. I think I had asked in a prior reaction if they had a double bass drum or not, so it was cool to actually see that. And, um, yeah, he goes to that next level for those big moments. Um, you know, I mean, he's singing, even, even the normal, like, the verse melody stuff, he's singing well. He's reproducing the song live. Um, but you can definitely tell, you know, an extra effort in those big moments because he feels it and the audience wants to feel it too. So very cool. There's not a lot of live tool out there. Probably won't react to much more live tool um, because I just don't think it's available. Um, but I definitely wanted to get this one done because it was requested and recommended. And uh, yeah, so definitely liked watching this video and hearing this version of the song live. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. It helps the channel a lot. Comment down below. Let me know if you know kind of how this footage came together, if it was officially released by the band or if this is a fan edit. And uh, uh, also, if you can, let me know any other recommendations for bands to react to besides Tool once we're done with Tool. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.